Hey everybody, Matt coming to you from Fanfare in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's check out all the new books that will be coming out tomorrow. By the way, Happy New Year. Uh, we got stuff starting off here in Marvel. We have a gigantic compendium. It's an omnibus, actually, of Earth Man's Hero Avengers. We also have one of the epic collections of Amazing Spider-Man featuring Kraven's Last Hunt and many other fun tales. We have an Ant-Man Antiversary. This is the new series right there. Ali Wing writing that. On to the regular books. We have Avengers. We also have Captain America, Sentinel Liberty, Captain Marvel, Fantastic Four, uh, Dark Web's Gold Goblin, issue number three. Lots of covers to choose from. J. Scott Campbell, uh, throwback cover there. Very cool. A new number one series here. You're looking at Joe Fixit. Peter David takes the Hulk back to Vegas. Pretty cool stuff. We also have Marauders, issue number 10. Planet Hulk World Breaker, issue number three. Another new number one here. Scarlet Witch. Fantastic looking book. And holy smokes, that cover is absolutely fantastic. Potentially, yeah, probably my favorite cover of the week. We also have Secret Invasion and Shang-Chi, Master of the Ten Rings, a new series starting off there at issue number one. We have Spider-Man on issue number four with a really cool uh, old school looking cover there. We have Star Wars as well as a Spider-Man number one Lost Hunt second printing. Um, we have Ultraman, Mystery of Ultra 7, High Republic uh, number two, later printing, probably second printing. Mandalorian issue number five, second printing. We have X-Force number 36, X-Men Legends number five, and X-Men Red issue number 10. And that is Marvel for you. On the DC, it's Batman. Chip Zdarsky just finished up the first storyline to his new arc of Batman. It's fantastic. One of the best reads, definitely. Uh, here is the new jumping on point, or the new start of a new story arc. We have Batman Nightwatch issue number five. Dark Knights of Steel issue number nine of 12. Gotham City year one issue number four. The Joker, the man who stopped laughing issue number four which can't really tell. It looks like Clayface, but kind of like Man Bat. Cool Libra Armejo uh, covers there. We also have Poison Ivy, issue number eight. Very good story. Love it. We have Monkey Prince hardcover up there. Sword of Azrael, issue number six of six, tying up that all together. And that is DC for you. On to some image. Over here, we have the holiday party. A lot going on there. Can't really see it. Brian Pussain wrote one of these. Very cool stuff. That's really funny. We have uh, Kaya with issue number four. Magic Order three, issue number six. This is Scotty Young's uh, Middle West. All in one book this time, though. Really cool story. Uh, we also have Nita Hawes Nightmare Blog, issue number 11. Radiant Pink, issue number something or other. We have Spawn, number 337. Very cool cover. Stillwater, issue number 17. Unnatural Blue Blood. And always keep your eye open for different variants including all these spawn ones that kind of just get hidden in books we'll get to that in a moment walking dead deluxe number 54 and speaking of which in case you missed the beginning of the spawn covers they're right here these are all second printings um different books that feature him on the title of the cover uh, this is just a literal second printing of plush though but check that out boom do a power bomb he's wrestling with the wanda tattoo it's the best absolutely the best so that's image for you on to the indies the Approach issue number three, Astronaut Down number five, The Calculated Man number four, uh, Black Sun issue number one. Pretty cool stuff. Lots of covers to shoot this from. Josh really liked this one. Kind of reminds me of like something's killing the children. Very cool stuff. We have Earth Divers Kill Columbus issue number four with the Albuquerque cover. Ooh wee. Family Ties number two and the best comic book title of the year so far because it's only the third. Gangster Ass Barista. Very cool stuff. Regular is not a size. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Can't wait to read it. Grim Fairy Tales number 67. Over here we have the Illustrator's uh, History of War and Magazines. A later printing of Know Your Station number one. Magic War of Fate issue number two of five. Number 22, I should say. Those are variants, I'm assuming. <laughs> we have over here uh, Mosley. A new number one from Boom Studios. Really cool stuff. Some neat art showing there. And you know how Boom does it. Issue number one, we've got covers to choose from. There's plenty, plenty, plenty. Check them out. we got Murder Incorporated, uh, Valentine's Trust, paperback there, uh, by Brian Michael Bendis. Terry Moore's Parker Girls, issue number four, Purgatory Must Die. Book number one, it's a new series for Purgatory. Check that out. This one's pretty cool. Spy Superb. Um, this is a new Matt Kent book, a three-issue three miniseries here. Lots of cool stuff, and if you get the brown bag cover there, it comes with a grocery list. It's actually a cipher to figure out, and you can go to mattkent.com and check it out. See if you solve the case. Over here we have TMNT, the Armageddon Game Alliance, issue number three. Interiors by Junie Ba. Pretty cool. We have uh, Tales from Harrow County. This is the Lost Ones paperback. Vampirella vs. Red Sonja, issue number three, with a few covers. Uh, Where Starships Go to Die, and your two mangas for the week. My Sister, the Cat, as well as... Night of the Living Cat, volume number two. There's a lot of cat action going on, and that's okay. 
So onto the media comics. Cool, let's show you here. We have Cyberpunk Blackout Paperback as well as Deathgasm. Uh, this was a very, 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 very cool comedy movie. I loved it when it came out. Can't wait to see what this is all about. We have uh, many Doctor Who magazines right here to choose from. They dump them all at once. We have G-Fan magazine right there on Opus Comic right here. This is an issue number one as well. Hammerfall. Not familiar with the band if it is. Uh, we also have Phantom Tomorrow, <laughs> number one. They're just dropping comics everywhere right now. Uh, we have Quick Stops issue number three, Star Trek issue number three, and there's Star Wars right there to tie it all together. So there's a little bit of kids over here. I almost went that way. <laughs> My Little Pony and Sonic the Hedgehog and all of these golden books and Learn to Readers. These are very cool things. Uh, step into reading if you're interested in getting your kids into reading and stuff. You start on books number one, they kind of teach you as you go. Really great system. We have a lot of different choices to go from. The Jaws. The Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. Yeah, Big Shark, Little Boat, The Book of Opposites. These uh, Funko Golden books are really neat. So get those, because why wouldn't you want a beautiful little kid's rendition of Jaws? <laughs> it's good stuff. I love it. Uh, a lot of cool toys to show you this week, starting off here in the Funko Pops. We have Ryomen Sak Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen, as well as Megumi Fushiguro with the Divine Dog. We have LeBron James, LA Lakers, as well as Luka Doncic. Very cool. These are the trading card ones. Zion Williamson as well. We have some band prestos here. Uh, this one's from Jujutsu Kaisen as well as one from ReZero. We have a Hatsune Miku. Uh, this one character from Demon Slayer and a character from Evangelion. Over here we have a gallery what if Captain Carter statue. Very cool and this giant gallery statue of the Green Goblin flying around chucking pumpkin bombs. You can't go wrong with that. This really cool WandaVision one. If you look close, you can see Vision on the TV set. Very cool Halloween diorama scene. And we also have one variant to show you this week. This is Avengers number 64, the art term version variant, one in 100. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, it's 269-349-8866. Have a good night.